excellencies, friends, and distinguished audience. On behalf of the Indonesian Embassy in Oslo, allow me to thank you for being here to attend the opening of photo exhibitions of Turkovers Oyaman Stangam on the beauty and diversity of Papua. I would like to extend my gratitude and appreciation and thanks to Arctic Solutions for letting us use this facilities, this room. This is a good sign, this is good gestures, this is good collaboration. And I hope we can collaborate more in the future. I would like also to thank Poria Mansitanga, the photographer of Sanga. It's a long way. And I know for Yaman for a long time. Probably 35 years, more or less. He's been a good friend, and I attended a number of his photos exhibition in Jakarta. And I know that some of his photos has been published not only in Indonesian magazines or journals, but also in international magazines. <coughs> Excuse me. If I'm not mistaken, some of his photos appear in Asia Week, Time Magazine, and Newsweek. So we are very privileged to have him coming to Oslo to exhibit some of his, of his photos. The question is why Papua? has nothing to do with politics. We just want to show you the subjective personal interpretations of photographers in Papua. You may have different opinions, different interpretations on Papua. But I can tell you, Papua is very unique in terms of cultures, in terms of traditions, in terms of very rich very diverse. And I used to be a journalist myself. When I was a journalist, I was told by my senior, don't only read what is being published. Read what is between the lines. The same with the photos. The same with the pictures. People say, pictures speak for itself. Photos speak for themselves. But what is behind the photos? <clears throat> what is behind the, the pictures? That is the big question. Because in Papua, to dig out more what is behind the photos. It's very unique, very rich, very diverse. And in a way, it is an invitation for you to come to Papua with hundreds of ethnic groups. In Papua alone, we have so many ethnic groups, so many tribes or tribes. And we can want to time. For Yamu Stanga, what thousand kilos away? So half of it, Indonesian span is like five thousand. I've been photographing Papua for, for for twenty five years now. The photo taken from my nineteen ninety four up to the latest one is the nineteen sorry the two thousand eighteen. So I just come back in July this month last month. I'm very inspired by the people I met who accept me warmly. They share their rich tribal culture and indigenous wisdom. I felt very welcome. It was my privilege and honor to take their picture. Well, to put it into the geographical context, Papua Indonesia is one of the biggest islands in Indonesia. It has 74,000 hectares bigger than Norway. Papua has 459 
thousand kilometers as Norway 385,000 kilometers. The population is almost equal. Papua has like 4.3 million people and Norway has 5.3 million. Papua has the richest, just be frank with the data, gas, oil, and gold resources. And it also has the largest rainforest, such as Sagu Forest, untouched up to now. I think the only last rainforest that is intact, I think is only Papua, not Amazon anymore. Yet my questions remain open. How is my Papua different compared to Norway? How can we build prosperous to all of us? Well, I don't have any recipes to bring to the table. Perhaps my role as an artist would help many of us who are interested on human welfare to see it through non-symmetrical eyes. By seeing with our own angel, we might have different perspective. But I believe any of us will never be less human if we have different opinion or belief. I'm telling you, that's very true. We are not less human if we are different on belief or on opinion. There are great possibilities. We will have fruitful dialogue or self emanation As one said, if you don't go, you don't know. I hope one day you can come and see our Papua. Thank you so much. Directly on the first floor. So, I would like to invite now Master Dr. Rubina Lubis and also Korea Mansitanga to, to guide the, for the tour. Do you want to use the microphone? Okay. 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 From my large camera, if you know the long time ago, we have to have a very large camera that is now changing. We don't have the to large camera anymore. And that time is really costly. If you're talking about energy efficiency, I don't have that idea at the time because my my, my aim is to get the picture, to get the story. So I take this with black and white photos, large format, and bring back to Jakarta to process it. So come over here, you can see it here. This is the lady, the morning lady. Why I always bring this picture? Because for me, as I next write down, why more to the what to the, to the chief is a daughter to the parents. So she just lost uh, her family usually woman carry carry pain more so I'm very very delighted that she just wants to come over here this is the woman yes. who have her fingers cut yes yes well I think it's 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 a uh, it's not only a, a, a symbolized but it's also the way woman carry suffer is through very much is very, very, very uh, explaining, like very open. So, well, you know, nothing more than hurt if you cut your own finger. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know. I, you know what? I'm the photographer. I used to be at the back of the camera <laughs> coming to this kind of things, talking to you in the front of, you know, that's the, if, if I'm not at the back, who would do the photography, you know what I mean? This is the man from Merauke, they can also in 1994. Uh, it's a very good encounter because he went to the main city of Jayapura doing the competitions for sport. And one of the things, if we can understand the culture, then we can give them opportunity to, to grow together. For the Papua, sport is a very wonderful thing. So if we don't have to go well, we don't respect technology, we'll be so friendly for anything, but giving them access to a, people with their own respect, their own uh, you know, ability is very nice. So this is the spot. And if you come through now, the chief, not woman, but Yari chief of Wamena. Wamena is the, the valley, the valley of valley here. It's a very highland uh, uh, place, it's a highland place where the, this is my latest uh, traveling to Asma in the, in the south part of uh, Papua. And I had to go on boat for three hours to meet uh, uh, another in subscribe of asthma.
also in the skies on the on the beach on the seaside people of the Camoro taken in 2002. In Cam in festivals usually they can build big statue to the run. To run. This is my latest one as well from the Dani and the in the Balian Valley. Uh, you have to fly from uh, Jayapura for about like uh, an hour with the proper airplane to arrive in this place in Yali, in Dani, sorry. Dani Yali live in the same uh, valley, the South Sorong, which is, you know, you might be known now a very good place called Raja Ampat, where the only last, I think, last uh, place where you can see all the fish live, and then it's, uh, it, it is the, uh, yeah, just like about, uh, what? 10 hours by boat to go to this site. This young boy live surrounding with the Sagu forest. Sagu forest, we are an artist, I call him artist, local artist. When the outside people come, he would sort of show in his way of artistry with all the things used, maybe the international paper over there, so he can use it back to show the artistry. The indigenous people, like a meeting between modernity and the indigenous life with the head from the trunk of Sagu but then there is somebody that he used also the plastic as a way of sewing the ring I think it's a very good statement of, of him over here then now maybe I can leave you with all your free time to look for the photo this is the Tamoro dancer I recall very well to take this picture. You have to travel down from the main city for almost two hours. And at the time, well, I I decided, even though it's very heavy for a grandma, together with the two children, two grandchildren, pose for me. There's a kakatua at the top of the head of my grandma, and you can see the worm from the sagu. I eat the worm. This is live worm, it's not the cooked worm that you can eat but some people would be uh, allergic and for that party he tried to com compare Saku and the wheat look at this, wheat come all over from local uh, artist, I call him artist, local artist when the outside people come he would sort of show in his way of artistry with all the things used maybe that international paper over there so he can use it back to show the artistry. The indigenous people, I call it like a meeting between modernity and the indigenous life with the head from the trunk of Sagu. But then there is somebody that he used also the plastic as a way of sewing the ring. I think it's a very good statement of, of him. Over here, then now Maybe I can leave you with all your free time to look for the photo. Uh, photo. This is the Tamoro dancer. Yeah, I recall very well to take this picture. You have to travel down from the main city for almost two hours. And at the time, well, I I decided, even though it's very heavy, I have to bring for a square grandma together with the two children, two grandchildren pose for me. There's a kakatua at the top of the head of my grandma and you can see the worm from the sagu. I eat the worm. This is live worm. It's not the cooked worm that you can eat. But some people would be uh, allergic. And for that party, he tried to com compare sagu and the wheat. Look at this. Wheat come all over from long, long ways. Over uh, here, this is the dancer, late, uh, latest dancer from the Camoro people. And then you can see the net, it's because they live in the seaside, they always use net to go and find shrimp, find, find uh, yeah. asthma. And this is also from my long time trip, uh, a young man from Morocco with the discus. All right, the things, that's the things.
There is no salt on that, but I think it's sweet because they have a potato, sweet potato, and everything. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Bahasa, they can talk with Bahasa. So it's, I think Bahasa, the Eastern we go, they use Bahasa all the way. So I think Bahasa becomes the lingua franca for all of us. It's an arrow, and then sometimes they coming out, like they have to walk like 10 kilos to find a bird, you know, to, to kill the bird with the arrow. But this one is, they just come from cutting the wood, the, 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 the sagu trunk, asma. Man that I made it. That's the body. How is the temperature? I think some, somehow it could be dropped like almost like four degrees. Like here. Okay. Coffee, you have to be asking a lot uh -huh. because you is there. They don't, they don't plant it as if they do it like a culturally uh, uh, agriculture. It's not like that. It's like a, they plant it, but they leave it like that. Oh, great! For the coffee is in Papua. All over the world, I think this is the, this is the, the best one. The best one. And expensive one. This, yeah. Expensive. <laughs> This is Asma. This the lowland people of Asma. And this is also from the lowland but in South Sorong. The one is in the ton untapped every year. Twenty trunk. Do they export the sagu? Canopy for the small one. Mm. So you have to cut these things to get the other one grow. So you have to wait. If the flowers coming through, that's a good time to cut because then you can have a very good contain of the sagu, sagu uh, uh, flower. Its its trunk will produce almost a ton. So if there is five million hectares sagu forest, we lost like five million tons. If this is what I call window vista. You know, you go and you see the things, but you just leave it like that. I'm sorry. It's a good mangrove. Oh, wow. Very big, huh? Big mangrove. Very big mangrove. Ecosystems, hmm. and the big animal will also live. One part doing the other part, one part doing the other part, so, you know. Oh. And then we can make a statue. Over there, there's a big statue. Huge big statue being prepared for the for the uh, ceremony. So I don't I don't think unless you have a very strong technology yeah. to tape all the, yeah. the, the 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 forest. I I, I don't think it will be gone that wrong. Is a you know yeah. Well. But as it comes you know well it's not a day so like. <laughs> Coffee dance up. Uh, Leo,